everyone, so this is my what's in my labor bag. I have my suitcase here. I have to for a suitcase. I think I did last time too. Went with the big one. I figured, Pet. whoa, <laughs> you spooked me. You took a good nap. <laughs> you want to say hi? Hi. <laughs> you took a good nap. So I figured I would bring a giant bag with all of our stuff versus like three different bags which last time we brought a bunch of different bags what do you want to do? I want to show okay you can go with the headphones okay. oh my gosh she scared me okay so I have my stuff and the baby stuff and then Josh's stuff will also go into this bag and hopefully everything will fit so I did a separate video for my toiletries so um, I'll try to I don't know how to do this but put a card in or whatever or link it or something I don't know It'll be somewhere. I'll do the baby stuff first. So, because it's only a couple things. The first thing I have is um, the boppy. So this isn't a true boppy because my boppy finally found it and it was in storage and it like mildewed or something. Um, I had it in the plastic sleeve but it was in a cardboard box in our basement in the sleeve and I don't know if like moisture still got through the box and then through the um, container but whatever. A friend gave me this and it's very similar. It's like some company made them. The only difference is it's pointed at the end and it has this buckle, which the buckle is like, no, that's not going to work. So I don't know if I'll just snip this off or what, but it fits really comfortably on and you will be able to nurse very comfortably in this. So I'm excited for this. I have to try on my covers. My mother-in-law made me lovely covers and I'll try those on. Um, and see if they work. They should work. It just should, will be like floppy at the end. I don't have this separated into labor versus after. It's just kind of all in here. So the second thing for baby is this blanket that I made him and I have been sleeping with it. So I saw this tip about like transferring your scent. You can't even, it's so big. It's really not that big, but um, transferring your scent to some object just in case something happens to the baby. Like he has to go to the NICU or has to be watched for a little bit. Have whoever is holding him hold him in a blank, the blanket that you were sleeping with, like the scented object. And that way when you finally get to meet, transition will be smoother with breastfeeding and stuff. So I have been sleeping with this and this will go into our bag. It's on the last minute list. Um, couple of outfits. I, I brought all newborn stuff and some of it does run bigger than others and some is tiny. So I just brought, this is just a cotton zip sleeper, it says little brother, a fleece zip sleeper, a little bear, um, a onesie, long sleeve onesie, newborn. This is tiny though. <laughs> a couple of hats, I made this hat for him, just neutral boy colors I guess. This I got from Etsy which is super cute and it says little brother on it. I don't know if that'll focus but it's like a newborn style. I mean it's like a hospital stylish hat and it's really stretchy so I think this will fit no matter what. And then it's coming home outfit which I don't I remember if I didn't share with Foy. I feel like people don't share it. It's like a surprise. But I'm just going to share it because I don't care. It's this little brown fleece. Um, I don't know if it's fleece or if that's not Terry. It's plush. How about that? Sleeper that's really warm um, but still will fit in the car seat. It's not like a hindrance um, but it'll be toasty because it's gonna right now it's five degrees and it's snowing so it's gonna be cold. Little bare feet and then I made him a matching hat which hopefully is not too small because it feels pretty small but we'll see. <laughs> but I thought that was super cute. That. So I think that's enough clothes and then I don't care if he's in the hospital clothes or whatever. Um, we are getting pictures, so that's why I brought the couple hats and a plain sleeper, and I might throw in I can't find them one too. pair of pants, too. Okay, <laughs> um, so, and then one more thing for baby is my ring sling. So, I remember wishing with four that I would baby wear sooner, and I don't know if I'll use this, I'm not sure what will happen, but... I feel like I should have started way sooner than I actually did start with um, four. So I'm bringing my ring sling. I don't know if I'll bring my Moby. I think I know where it is. But I feel like this will be easy to pop him in and out. And I really want to learn how to nurse in the sling. To be more 
like mobile than last time. Okay, so now on to, I think that's it for baby. I'm not bringing any diapers, I'm not bringing any wipes, I'm not bringing soap, because I'm gonna delay his bath hopefully until he's at home and I can use what I want. Yeah, that's it. So now I'll show you like the snacks we're bringing, my labor gown and stuff. So I'm bringing coconut water, three of these. I actually don't like coconut water, I think it tastes weird. It's too sweet. Um, but I'm bringing these for like my electrolytes. I'm bringing some squeeze snacks. And this is acai and grape and apple with chia seeds. So that's good for sustained energy. Bringing just regular applesauce. I love these cinnamon applesauces. I'm bringing hard candy. So this is penny lemon hard candy, organic hard candies. I'm bringing these, this is all like sugar, like <laughs> to get your energy up. Fruit leather strips. Um, these were from Costco. These are so delicious. Strawberry. And I think the other one is like a mixed berry. And my one treat, big treat for after delivery is a pecan log. I have been loving these pregnant and I will look forward to this. After delivery has a special treat so I'm sure I'll be starving. With floors labor, my body like literally would not let me eat. Like, yeah. my Are you good? Pressing all, all the buttons on the on the microwave to, to get his popcorn done. What? He's gonna burn it. Um, my body would not let me eat at all. My doulas, my doctor, my midwife, the nurse were all like encouraging, or my husband encouraging me to eat, drink, eat, drink, and I just, my body was like rejecting. It was just something I couldn't control. So, and then afterwards, I delivered at 12.55 at night. Afterwards, of course, that cafeteria was closed. I was starving. Um, it was like all of that just came rushing back as soon as she came out was, I needed substance. So, um, bringing those things, um, hopefully we can get a meal. I think I, they had a sandwich for me, but um, hopefully we can get a, a real meal after delivery this time. Okay, so I'm bringing this infamous gown. This is what I labored and delivered floor in, and it's wonderful because it's, the I hate hospital gowns being plus size because they're always like super short in the arm they cut in and they, I need two because I need like one in the back for fuller coverage and I just prefer to have my own gown. So this is short sleeve, loose on the sleeve and zip and dark and long, super long. So I can be more modest in this, I can receive checks in this. I can labor and get all kinds of fluid and blood on this and it will just come right out. The only thing is my husband <laughs> said, I don't know how, well I guess it is slightly. He said he spent so many hours rubbing my body in his hospital gown that he remembers every single mark of these dots like raised, even though they're pretty flush on this fabric. He was like, my hands were indented. <laughs> but this gown is a workhorse and I will definitely be laboring in this again. Um, just for my own comfort versus wearing a hospital gown. It was nasty. It was disgusting after birth. But I seriously just put it into a garbage bag and sent it home with my mother-in-law. And she was the angel and washed it for me. Okay, I also be wearing during labor um, a sports bra. So I'm bringing several. Which I can't remember if I did this last time. But I was in and out of the tub with floor. And I do not remember getting my bra wet and the, being uncomfortable, but my doula said, if you're gonna get in and out of the tub, you don't wanna be having a wet bra and then be laboring in a wet bra, and that's true, I don't. So I'm bringing several sports bras. So I'll probably just be wearing the gown and a sports bra while I labor. And I brought a couple more for after too, because I love these for nursing. I don't like like a traditional nursing bra. Um, it just didn't give me, it doesn't give me enough support. I like a sports bra, and I just either lift up or lift down, and I have no problem. And they keep my pads in really well, so I really don't mind those. I'm bringing a couple pair of underwear. I don't remember with floor what I did like if I wore the mesh underwear. Um, so being plus size, um, I'm, I really can't remember if the, the mesh underwear were comfortable. I'm so willing to give them a go this time because 
I am less is more this <laughs> this trip around, not bringing a whole bunch of stuff. So I will give the best underwear a go, but I definitely have my own comfortable underwear just in case. I'm bringing a couple pairs of socks, fuzzy socks, and then just like, you know, socks I don't really care about for the hospital. I am bringing a pair of slippers. These are already bagged up because I hate things that touch the ground to touch other things. I'm like a germ phobe in that respect. And then these are going probably straight into the washer and if they survive a wash afterwards because the yeah, hospital ground. I'm not going to bring flip-flops because like I said it'll be January and I don't want to be cold even if it's warm in the hospital. Did I say I'm sitting on my birth ball? I am. That's why I'm like so bouncy. Um, just trying to get my, you know, pelvic region aligned. So I'm bringing a couple of loose Kank t-shirts. Oh, I thought this was v-neck. I might switch it. Sw I have a v-neck in this color. I might switch for all v-necks because I don't mind pulling down to nurse. That's like usually what I did before anyway. I never like pulled up or had like the tank top underneath. I just couldn't deal with all that. So I'm actually going to switch this out to v-neck. I brought a nicer shirt. This is short sleeve. I wore it in like a lot of my pregnancy videos, but it's loose and I can wear a sweater over it. Um, and I can, it's pretty low, so I can also pull down in this, and it's like stretchy for after, so it won't be all clingy. I'm bringing a button-down shirt. This is just a cotton flannel. It's not, it's not flannel. It's just cotton, and um, it's nice and big and comfortable and unbuttons for nursing easy access, but I think it's so ugly, <laughs> but I don't really care. It's really the only, like, really loose cotton button down that I have so I'm bringing it I just won't wear it like during our pictures or whatever I'm not sure what I'm gonna wear during our pictures probably a solid black um or some kind of solid top I'm bringing a robe and this is very similar to my labor robe it's it's a heavier weight like sweatshirt material it has a hood it zips it's long sleeve it goes all the way down to the ground and it's super duper duper comfortable and big so this is for after labor when I want to be covered and comfortable in the hospital. I'm bringing my own towel. I debated about this one, but I'm plus size and um, I don't like the towel. Somebody made a good point. Like, just think of it like you're in a hotel. And I hate the towels at hotels because I'm plus size and I like a bigger towel. Because then I can just like wrap it all the way around myself and it's more comfortable. So an old towel that I really don't care about. I'm bringing a derby twist. Um, because I use these whether I wash my hair or not. If I don't wash my hair, I wear it in the shower to protect my hair so it doesn't get wet and frizzy. So I always like to have these whenever I travel or wherever I go. And then I'm bringing a pillowcase, comfortable, soft flannel pillowcase for after. I'm bringing my own pillow because I love my pillow. I'm going to like probably double or maybe even triple pillowcase it because to protect it against you know the hospital and then I'm going to switch out when I go to actually sleep on it and the mother baby unit to a clean pillowcase um <laughs> it sounds crazy but I just don't want to be exposed to all that and I want something nice and clean for after when I w really want to be comfortable so I'm trying to think of anything else that I've added I haven't done any of Josh's stuff he can deal with that obviously he probably will um just bring you know, regular, comfortable clothes. I think you might want to bring beef jerky too, but we haven't bought it yet. And I think that's all I have on like my list of things to bring. I'm still kind of filtering through um, videos about what I packed in my hospital. I love videos about what I didn't end up using in my hospital bed because those are the most helpful. It's helped me t filter out a lot of stuff. Um, but yeah, and obviously Hardy in the car, is oh, I'm gonna put the no I don't know what I'm gonna do with the bobby I might just leave it on the top portion because I have lots of space so in the car the car seat is already installed and ready to go so and then I have a cover for the car seat one of those shower cap style covers to really protect um, him when we actually leave the hospital and it's freezing and do people bring their stroller bases in or they just carry the car seat out I'm not sure I guess it depends on how far you're away from your car right so I think that's it let me know in the comments below what do you think? What do you think I should get rid of, if anything? Um, I know a lot of people say to bring two different sizes of outfits, so I may bring 
a one zero to three month but I think I'm good on that I do not want to bring a bunch of stuff for the baby and or myself I oh I'm gonna put in pants I just am like out of things like I'm wearing the things that I would wear in the hospital so I'm gonna bring a pair or two of really comfortable loose pants for after and then I'm gonna put those v-neck shirts in my bag actually right now but I think I'm good on clothes otherwise yeah so that's it anyway let me know what you guys think let me know if you should think I should add or take anything out I would really appreciate the feedback and I will see you in my next video thanks for watching Bye.